Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And it is Wednesday, October 27. Um, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You can find me every week at that time, uh, every Wednesday at that time, uh, on my business page here in Facebook. Um, and any other time you can find me on my website at dazzledbystamping.com. So let me know if you're here and while you're getting on, I'm going to refresh my page here. Hi, Marcia. Um, so that I can see all comments when they come in. Because sometimes I don't see them on my phone screen here. So, I, hi Marlene. Um, so I had to remind Marsha that I had chocolate for her. I reminded her last week and then she, I don't think she ever saw me so I had to email her and I actually meant to email you a while ago Marsha um, so anyway so she knows we have stuff for her <laughs> um, so I have my randomizer all loaded up um, and um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for a few more people to get on so today I am playing with the paper pumpkin kit that came uh, in the mail. Hi, Jamie. Um, it came in the mail, and Dina, good morning, um, this month. Now, um, if you are interested in it, shocking. I know. I kept thinking she must just be really busy or something. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so I'm using the paper pumpkin kit, and... Um, I have some alternate ideas that I'm going to do also. If you want this kit, um, you can't get it because it already shipped. Um, let's see. Yeah, and we're even past. There's there's sometimes a second. Well, not sometimes. There's always a second shipment of them. Like if in case somebody's credit card wasn't. Um, hi, Marilyn. In case somebody's credit card wasn't um, updated or something at that time, like it, it had expired and they didn't realize it. And so then Stampin' Up! does another round around the 21st or something like that. Um, but that's passed and um, I, I don't think that, even if it wasn't passed, I don't think that you could sign up at that time. You have to do it by the 10th. And they, then they just reship in case anybody got missed because of credit card information or whatever. Um, but I have some of these, so if you really like it, I will sell it to you. Um, so the kits are $22. That's how much it is to for the monthly subscription. Um, and you can get it delivered right to your door for the $22. I think it's plus tax. I'm not sure about that. Um, but... If you're getting it directly from me, you either need to pick it up or it's going to be additional whatever it costs to mail it. So, But I have some that I can sell off to you if you are interested. So, all right. So I have a few more people here. Thank you for sharing already, Dina and Marsha. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else did, but thank you if you did. Okay, so I'm doing my randomizer. For those of you who might be um, new to my videos... I give away what I make so if you share my video and then come back and tell me that you shared it I put you in a list I call it my randomizer it's a it's a website on my computer or app on my phone and um, it randomly selects names from the list of oops, from the list of people that I have added here so um, so make sure that you do that. That helps me, and hopefully it's an encouragement to other people too. Okay, so I have my randomizer loaded, and I'm starting it. And Marlene, yay, you won! Okay, so Marlene is my first winner, Vander Zawin, because sometimes there's another Marlene on here. Um, oh, <laughs> Hi, Doc Terry at the doctor's office. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick another name. And 
start. And Sherry Moore, you're my other winner. Congratulations. Okay. Um, yay. Okay, so I... Did I have to? Oh, okay, so I forgot what I was giving away. So either you each get two of the tags or only the first, only Marlene wins. One or the other. Because I, I, I made a set of tags and I forgot that's what I had done. So, uh, you guys are, I love how encouraging you are. That makes me happy. Okay. So I'm going to, okay, I'm, so I'm back to my website now. And so now I'm going to show you the paper pumpkin kit. So you can subscribe anytime. Um, and, oh, the next month that we have coming up, it is, um, it's a treat container. All I know for sure is there's really cute snowmen. You will share, <laughs> you can give them all I'm planning to. Oh, okay. Sounds good, Sherry. <laughs> um, you can... Oh, the the treat container kit is... I know that there's snowmen, and but I think there's three different designs for these treat containers, so I'm not really sure, but I know the snowmen, and it's cute. Um, so that, to be able to get that, you need to sign up by the 10th always the 10th whether you want to sign up or if you need to skip a month you can always skip a month or that sort of thing all your transactions need to be done by the 10th so I'm going to show you this month's kit that just arrived um, this month and um, I'm going to show you the originals there's two cards and I'm going to show you two more cards with it so I'm going to put you down do my magic wand here on backwards you put you upside down put you down I really struggled with my with my um my little arm thing it's a gooseneck holder I struggled with that trying to get that set up today it was not wanting to cooperate um I think I might need a new one because I twisted and turned it so much okay so here's the kit and um, always in the kit, it comes with instructions that show you what you need to do, what things you should have in here. Um, this one even shows you, I'm not sure that they usually do this, I don't remember. Um, this one even has some alternate ideas that you can use with, your, with the kit. So I actually used that as inspiration for what I'm gonna do okay so it always comes with wrapped in tissue paper so you get to the surprise gift box sort of thing okay so we have this cool Noel foil it's silver I know it's reflecting weird but it's silver um, and then there's tags and glue dots and dimensionals there's this Baker's twine you always get a stamp and spot unless for some reason you don't need to um, stamp uh, on, with the kit and then oh these are cute we we need these these are like flatter like the opal rounds um, I don't know if you guys have seen those they're just the glittery dots here we probably have had gold ones like this um, but anyway these are sort of iridescent or maybe silver but I think iridescent so I have some vellum pieces here. These are all die cut. Then there's a stamp set. I'm gonna put it on here, maybe you can see it well. So it's really pretty. I always, I like this font. You know I love mixed fonts. Um, there's Merry Christmas, Peaceful Christmas Wishes, Holiday Cheer, a couple of tiny things I'm not gonna try to see. Trees and snowflakes. Snowflakes are always a good thing, I feel like. Um, and then there's the card bases, and these are actually like sort of designer paper cutout things. Um, these car this card base is like the um, Peaceful Place designer paper. It's really cool. And this is the 
not houndstooth. Oh, I thought of houndstooth because it, somebody was wearing it last night on The Voice. Um, or it could have been two nights ago. We watch, we always watch it on DVR. Hi, Lenny. <clears throat> um, so these are buffalo check. That's what they are. With the, this color is shaded spruce, by the way. Oh, and then there's coordinating envelopes. Look. Okay, so we have the silver foil on here at the bottom, and then the buffalo check inside. I love it. Okay, so all coordinating. I already pulled my pieces out and sort of got it ready. And you know that I never I never use the spot when I do it. I'm spoiled, and I like having a great big pad. So I'm going to do that. And um, so I'm going to get my stuff ready. So here is everything for my first card. So the only stamping that I need to do, oh, I also spoil myself with my blocks instead of the, the paper pumpkin block that comes with the first kit. So I'm going to ink up my trees in the shaded spruce. And it's kind of gonna go behind I feel like I need to put a few more. I'm not sure what. I feel like they only did one. But I'm going to put a few layers of trees. Like that's what a forest looks like, right? Just order a couple refill kits. Oh, cool. Um, so one thing about that, Linny mentioned that she ordered a couple refill kits. Um, so something to keep in mind about that is once you are a subscriber, um, if there are refills allowed, or if there are refills left, um, you can order refill kits for the kit that was, that past kits, including including the current month. Um, so that means refill kits would be everything consumable. So not the, not the stamp or ink and not the stamp set but everything else is consumable, so that would be in the refill kit. Sometimes they have le leftover extra kits, but again, you can't buy those unless you are a subscriber. Okay, so we're gonna put this on, oh, I forgot to grab my silicone mat, just a sec. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you. And hi, um, okay, sounds good, Dina. Um, I have my silicone mat. Oh, and I saw Kathy got on. Hi, Kathy. Um, so I'm going to put this little designer paper piece down. And then, I, you probably didn't even see this. This is the, um, the vellum trees. These go down. I better look at the the actual card. Um, oh, here's some extra ideas that were in this packet. Um, just a sec. Where did I put my instructions? Oh, I just need to see the kit or the, the final one anyway. Okay, so we're going to put this down and we're going to use, um, well, no, since I have it here, I'm just going to use regular adhesive. I'm just we're going to be covering it, and so it doesn't matter that you can see this adhesive through it because there's it's going to be covered by something else. Uh, anybody else having a problem with sound, or is that Kathy's phone? Um, okay. Uh, I guess you can't hear me ask that question if you have sound or don't have sound. Usually problems like that are just you. Jamie has sound, okay. So next thing is, um, oh, this piece. So there's this little, it looks like wood. It's either, I don't know if it's gray granite or I think it's smoke, uh, basic gray, I don't, I don't honestly know. Um, it will say in my kit, but I'm not going to stop and do that. So I'm going to put that down. Then, 
I want dimensionals on the back of this. I'm not following the instructions, I'm just doing my thing, but we're going to say that there's dimensionals on here to pop this up. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. And then, to brighten it up a little bit, we're going to put our Noel on here. So this one, we are going to put mini glue dots on it. Um, so, I'm going to just put a few across here so that it can stay in place. <laughs> I picked them randomly all over that sheet of them. I didn't even pay attention to where I was getting them from. That's very much not like me. I have to go all in a row and whatever that that didn't I'm not sure how that happened okay so I'll put Noel on here like that and then we just need a couple of these cool um, I'll call them gems I'm not sure what, what we're calling them glitter dots that's probably what they are they literally look like dots of glitter just stuck right on there easiest way for me is to slide them off so here's the first one out bumming with girls on a crafty mission I will watch replay later okay sounds good okay so here's the first one now we're gonna move on with the second one and I always do my stamping first so um, I'm gonna do Merry Christmas on this tag here So in case you just came on, um, I do have a few of these kits. Ooh, that's, a, that's really pretty and fine, isn't it? Can you see it? There, maybe there you can better. Um, so if you are just coming on, I have a few of these. Um, I bought extras. So if you are interested in buying them, they are $22. You can either pick it up or it's extra if you... Um, need me to ship it to you. So this was actually the card base. They made this into this design of paper into a card base, cardstock quality. So we're going to put this circle here and then put this tag on here. I can't tell if this is supposed to be cherry cobbler or real red because I feel like the I feel like the baker's twine is real red. You would like one, please. Okay, you got it. Um, it is not part of any club that's separate. Um, so I probably cut this too small. I'm just trying to tie. Um, a bow here doing the loopy one I might just give up if it takes me too long because I don't always do it on these for some reason on the, the paper pumpkin kits um, there's usually always some baker's twine in there it seems like and Sometimes I'm just like, this is a quick project, and I'm not doing this. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm just going to trim this a little bit. And we're going to put this on with another mini glue dot. Right there. And then I'm going to put my greeting on again with dimensionals. Merry Christmas. Okay. And then, of course, our glitter dots. One, two, three. I shouldn't put this on the cardstock base because it's already got, like, glittery things on it. So I'm gonna put, hmm, I'm gonna put another one up here. See, I don't know if you can tell this or not, 
but these stars are like silvery. There's stars and snowflakes that are around here. Those are silvery. So I wanted to put it on um, this background here. Okay, two cards done. Now, so I got this idea sort of from, um, I'm not going to show it to you right now. I got this idea sort of from the sheet that comes in there with extra ideas um, alternate ideas with your kit. So this is what the vellum trees came in. Um, and thank you, Marsha. Um, and I'm going to use this with my design. So what I did for this one, I grabbed an extra piece of basic white cardstock and I cut the card base in half. Both sides, front and back, are that designer paper. Um, it's cardstock base, but it's the designer paper from the Peaceful Place. Um, and I cut this down to four inches by five and a quarter. Um, so that's a good, good, what do you call it? Good size for, for a layer on here. Make sure I have it opened right. <laughs> okay, then what I'm gonna do is put this on here it's just going to be sort of a, a subtle thing. And I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to hide the adhesive, but I just need it to be down. I'm going to try it right here. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. So I have some vellum trees over top of my regular trees on this designer paper. And then where did it go? Oh, yeah. Then I want, I'm going to do this again. So I'm going to use my dimensionals. So obviously using my card bases takes away from the number of, um, of the standard cards that I have, but I'm getting more designs out of it too. Um, uh, like not just two designs out of the whole packet. Oops. This needs to be moved. I sort of thought it was going to be the case, and then I thought, no, it looks fine, and then I turned it around. So I'm going to put this here, and then do the same thing that I did before. Put the mini glue dots on the back. So these ones that come in the kit, they have a backing on them. They're annoying if you're doing a whole bunch of them, but they're great if you just need a few and like you need them not to stick to everything and be ready and open. Oh, of course we need to put on some more glitter dots. I think we might want to on this, this little banner thing here this time. Because you totally can see all the the silver around the whole card. Okay, so there's another one. So I used this back piece that would have just gone, um, I would have just pitched it. But it was the negative space. So I don't know if you can tell. I can't really tell. I can't tell in person. And I can't tell. Well, I mean, I can tell right where one of them is. But you can't see it easily with because the background is all modeled and whatever so where your adhesive is is sort of hidden because of that so it just looks like a different different background or whatever okay third card now I'm gonna do my fourth card and this one is um, yeah thanks um, so this one is the Shaded Spruce card base, and I'm going to put a white um, layer down. I cut it the same, the same um, size as the designer paper one. Ooh, I got green on here. I must have got ink on either on this thing. Oh, I did. I got, somehow I got ink on here. Got to be careful when you put adhesive on um, 
on your white if you're doing it on your mat. Okay, so I put this down. I'm just going to have to change where I put something. Okay, so this is the tissue paper that was in my packaging. Remember I said that our boxes all come, the inside comes wrapped in tissue paper? So I cut this down to, I don't know, it's four inches wide, and I just tore it at the bottom. I want it torn, um, but also I'm going to crinkle it. I want it to be crinkled, and then I'm going to open it up and flatten it out just a little bit. Now, you could, if you wanted to, um, do some, use an embossing folder with this instead. Um, so this is sort of a little sneak preview. We're going to have a product coming out. There's a special um, collection of products that is going to be available. I don't remember if it's November 1 or November 3. I don't remember suddenly. I'll let you know. Um, but we have um, some paper that sort of reminds me of this. So anyway, so I crinkled this up. I'm going to flatten it down partially. So I'm going to put my adhesive down here. I definitely don't want to put the adhesive on this tissue paper because it will definitely rip it. So I'm putting it down. I think I want another strip of it over here. I just didn't want to go too far. So I'm putting it down here. Um, now it's intended to look sort of rough. Um, and that goes well actually with this. I always think of more country or rugged or wintry flannel with this um, buffalo check. <laughs> I keep struggling with that. With this buffalo check, I keep thinking thinking of something more like that. So the rough texture of the tissue paper works great with this. So I'm just going to put this over here. And then I do actually want to use, I'm going to use this wood piece. Just again, something um, to add more color, more dimension, more um, lines. I like extra lines, so I'm just going to put that there. And then for this one, I'm going to use the stamp. I do have it mounted. It says, Peaceful Christmas Wishes. So I'm going to stamp this on here. Oops. There we go. Oh. There we go. It's hard to see. And then a couple dimensionals on here. So this I want. I sort of want it crossing all my colors. Oh, and I also wanted some trees on here. Okay, so I'm going to show you what... Thank you for sharing already. I'm going to show you what I do when I mess up and get my get my timing wrong. Or my... I don't know the word I'm looking for. Here we go. I'm going to pop this out. Okay, so this is just an extra piece that I have. I use these two for my alternate idea. But what I'm trying to do is get this over here so that I can stamp off and not have to be completely on there. I meant to stamp on here and I forgot that I wanted to do that. So I'm going to do the trees again. And I'm going to get this from out from underneath so that I don't ink up my silicone mat again. So I got green on my thing. Okay, so I'm just going to put some here. That'll work. All right. So 
did you see what I did? So <laughs> I just covered up this white so that I wouldn't stamp off onto my white layer here because I didn't want it there. So that's what this little scrap was for. You can do it with any kind of scrap paper. All right, and of course I need my, even though this is rustic and whatever, I need my silver gems on here. Mm, this needs to be down or something. There we go. So I just made four cards in, <laughs> it's not even been a half hour since I've been on. Um, I did have these all popped out, but, and I had to cut a, two pieces of cardstock or something like that, but um, really quick. So that's one of the cool things about these kits. I love them. Okay, so I'm gonna pop you back up again. So I'm gonna un upside down you, put you backwards, lift this up. Yeah, it is a great kit. Um, so I'll show you them again. So here is my, I feel like maybe I would want some red stamping on this tissue paper too. But anyway, so here's my second alternate one that I did. And then I really like this one. Um, here's an alternate. And then this is how, oops, this is one that has the instructions for the kit, from the kit. <laughs> it was record time, Dina. And then here's this one. I love it. Okay. So you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin anytime. I'll make sure that I put my link in there for you. Um, I love the black and white. Yes, I know. I do too. Um, I like it. I sort of like it with just the single color like this one instead of this. So you totally could change up your design. Um, thank you. And... Um, do that. Also, as I mentioned, this is this designer paper. There's two sheets of this in um, Peaceful Place. Excuse me. Designer paper. It's $15. There are... Oh, I should show you. Do I have it nearby? Well, I'll show you what I have nearby. So thank you for sharing already. So you can get this designer paper. You can order it yourself. So here is the one we just used. This is what the whole sheet looks like. And then here's the back. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's kind of it's kind of like angled check. Like if you went like this, it would be almost gingham, kind of. Um and then there's this. Yes, I love the black and white too. There's this one. I used this one on my punk, pumpkin one a few weeks ago. And here's the snowflakes on the back of that one. And I barely have any of this. Okay, so there's this one. Oops, I gotta show it in a way that you can see it. Okay, so this is, I'll show you down here. This is Silver Trees. And I have some samples that eventually I will Oh, it's not really argyle. Isn't argyle like diamonds? They're definitely squares. Um, so this is silver. These are trees. So there's white at the bottom. I made an amazing card with it. And then on the other end, the, the trees are upside down and there's white there. So you can cut it in half and make strips to make your cards from it. And then this is the background for that. Hey, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Um, morning, Nancy. All right. So I did that one. I probably used, oh, there's a couple more that I haven't used yet. So here's this one. This is the silvery side. So each one of these has a silvery side. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. Um, so this is the silvery um, wood grain and then there's these trees on the back of that so one side doesn't have the silver foil and the other side does and then there's this different one. Oh, this one makes a really cool one okay so here's the silver side just a 
cool graphic kind of background. And here is the back side. Love it. Okay, there's one more design. I think that I used it all up because I loved it so much. Um, anyway, so really cool designer paper that you can get. But also, like I said, I do have these kits available. I think I have five available. Well, now I have three since two people said that they want them. Um, so you need to let me know when you're coming to get it. By the way, speaking of that, um, if you want them sooner than later, I will be gone starting tomorrow afternoon um, for until Monday. Um, so if you want it before that, let me know. Okay, so I will put the link in in case you want to um, subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. You can get it every month delivered right to your mailbox for $22, I think, plus tax. And um, you get a crafting experience that you can just sit down. You have everything you need in the Paper Pumpkin box. Oh, except the ones that I have. So they were, they were additional ones. Um, that I bought, so there's not a block in them. So it's not like if you were a new subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, you get um, you get a block in your first one. Um, so I just ordered a bunch of them so they don't come with a block. So just keep that in mind, that you'll need your own blocks. Um, let's see, anything else? I can't think of anything else. Oh. <laughs> okay well thank you for joining me today I will have you'll pick up today okay I will not be available until this afternoon sometime I have an appointment um, so it will be like after 1 30 ish something like that so anyway that's all that I have for you thank you for joining me today and um, I will see you again next week. Can you believe next week will be November? That's crazy. Um, which reminds me, we have our crafting retreat, all day crafting retreat, next to Saturday, so the 6th. Um, we do still have a few spots left, um, four spots left, I think. Um, so you are still, um, welcome to register. Um, just double check with me before you pay. And it's $75. It includes lunch and supper. It includes a goodie bag and pillow gifts. And you get a whole table to do your crafting. Um, Regina's order in yet. No, not yet. Uh, oh, I think it might be coming. Did, when did we... When did we meet? I don't know. Something's coming Friday, but yours must be coming sooner than that. Because don't you meet on Tuesday? Oh, oh, it was from a class. I'm, I'll have to look, Dina. I will look and see what's going on. Can I for the treat? Yes, that sounds great, Sherry. I'm excited. Um, so, I also... I was gonna, I was gonna surprise people with this, but I decided not to. Yeah, I decided not to. So just this morning, I ordered a cake for um, retreat because it's my birthday that day, and it is. Oh, I never told you that, Jamie. And it's Sherry's birthday the day before, and I didn't put happy birthday on. I just want a birthday cake. So um, I got it from a bakery in Jenison. I'm so excited. I haven't had their cake in forever. Um, and the kit makes 10 cards. If you make it like, um, you know, if you don't cut it up like I just did and then add your own cardstock, whatever, it comes with um, everything for five of each of the designs and um, then 10 of these coordinating envelopes. You're welcome. Okay. So that's all that I have. No more surprises. I'm not spilling anything more. 
<laughs> so that's all I have. I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining me and have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.